Hi guys, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Um, I have to go over the Y sound, the initial Y sound, because when I was doing my initial testing for first grade, a lot of the ch children had trouble with that initial Y sound, the Y sound, like in yogurt and yellow and yes. So I'm gonna go over that initial sound today, no big deal, just like you would normally do. But when I'm doing my high frequency words, those heart words, and we're going through the list, like said and school, and all those high frequency words like C and the, um, I'm gonna pull out this word and I'm gonna go over it. How many sounds do you hear in my, m, I, my? You hear two, but wait a minute. I just told you the Y is the Y sound. What's going on here? Then I'm gonna get real excited and I'm gonna say, I spy with my little eye a secret. And then the kids will say a secret. And then I'm gonna show them this secret card. I'm gonna say why it's just like you guys. When he's at the beginning of a word, he has to behave himself because his teacher's right there staring at him. So he has to say his regular sound at the beginning of the word, like in y yellow and y yes, right? But just like you, when he's at the end of the word, when you're at the end of the line, you always can get into a little trouble and misbehave. Well, why? When he's at the end of the word, he likes to sneak into letter E's super cape, Superman cape, and wear his E sound, his long E sound, like in Cherry and Joey and Zoe and Happy and Lucky. He likes to say why, he likes to say that E sound an awful lot in a lot of words at the end of a word. Or he can like to be the I sound and wear the Superman I cape, like in my, or like this word. Let's look at this word. Yeah. Oh, well, like in try and buy and my and fly. But let's look at this word. Any. Yeah. Any. The Y is pretending to be an E because he's at the end of the word and he thinks nobody could see him. So. If you see a Y, if it's at the beginning of the word, you know it's gonna be that regular sound, y, y, like in yogurt. But if he's at the end of the word, you have to decide, is he being the E sound, like in any, or the I sound, like in my? Yeah, so that's our secret story. But that's how I'm gonna introduce the Y today. So, I hope that helps.